Hi guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. Um, today is, let me check. Today is Sunday and I've just been having a lazy day. I've just made myself a cup of iced coffee. Um, and I haven't done much else apart from scroll on TikTok and Instagram all day. So, what I'm deciding to do is give you guys a closet tour. This is my closet, or my wardrobe, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, so basically I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you my favourite pieces from my closet. So, ignore this stuff up the top. I am moving all of my stuff from this closet into boxes, so it's just random stuff I have put up there to get stuff off the floor at the moment so my closet is I kind of have it in two sections I've got my wardrobe my um I've got my drawers with my designer handbags on top and I've got a band tee on top just here on my wallet but I've got my um I've got my Colette Heyman bag, my guest bag, Jag, and then I've got my um, Charlie Stone handbag right at the corner there. And these are just all of my coat hangers that aren't in use at the moment. I then do, I've got my suit, um, which I wore to my university graduation. I wore a white suit. I'll try and put a picture up here. But first I go, the pants I wear most often, pants not shorts or denim. Because shorts and denim I keep in like a little cubicle that's on the other side of my bed. Then I've got just my white dresses. So I've got a white dress here, one here and one here. This one I got from Target, it's really cute. It's just a white... It's got pockets in it, just a white tiered maxi dress. It's great for the beach, it looks great belted. And my favorite, I haven't worn this yet because it's been a little too cold, but it's just a sleeved button down dress. Let me unfold those sleeves, I don't like that. It's got a layer at the bottom, buttons, and it's got um, brown stitching on it. So it's really cute and light. And then I do colour coordinate, colour coordinating. I do colour organising in the rest of my closet. So I do browns here first and it's just I hang t-shirts as well most t-shirts I hang um, so I've got t-shirts a halter neck you know some singlets long sleeves stuff like that because I normally go for a brown or a beige first like with most of my outfits I will go brown or beige before I pick a color um, then I have blue And from the blue section and from blue this is probably my favorite I don't wear it as often anymore but it is this tie front card again with these tiny little flowers embroidered on it and it has a matching blue singlet underneath when there were we were going through that um, cardigan and singlet trend and then I just do grey because I don't have many grey. I just have my alumni t-shirt from my university. Then I do white. And as you can see, white is the biggest section of my closet. Um, I feel like you can never have too many white tops. So I, I have a couple favourites. Then 
this is a recent favorite of mine it's not plain white but it still goes in the white section I put it next to the gray it's just this swirl pattern and it's just a really light airy fabric it's just cute and it goes with all different pants and stuff And then in the middle of the white section is where I have all of like my white t-shirts. So I've got one from like Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein. I've got a couple of Calvin Klein ones. And this is my other favourite top. It's a bit yellowed because I've had it for so long. But it's this little lace, lace detail cardigan. Well, I wear it as a top with like a lacy bra or something underneath. It just has this tie at the front. And that's really cute. I've had this since lockdown. So it's the beginning of 2020 is when I ordered this. And that's where I sort of started. Um, that's when I started online shopping because I had never done it before. So that started my shopping addiction and next up I have pink so I've got this cute pink bralette which I haven't worn yet it's just got these little bows on the side and it's all meshed down the front but it's got these beautiful little flowers on it and it's all satin and satin and mesh My other favourite top from the pink section is this. It's from it's from Crossroads and my mum actually bought it in the early 2000s. So it's, you know, it's kind of like a handkerchief top. It's quite thin, you know, like if you look from the inside out, you can see that you can see through it. But it is just so cute. I love it with a white skirt. It looks great with white. It looks alright with black too, but I think white suits it better. Just gives it more life. It's got a little tie in the front and all of these little beads along the side here. So that is probably my favourite out of anything in this closet. And then on this side of my closet, after pink, I've got Then on this side of the closet, after pink, I have green. I don't have too much green, even though it's my favourite colour. I've just got a couple of tanks, a long sleeve, a short sleeve, and then my yellow section. I don't have too much yellow clothing, so I just kind of lump it in with the green. Then I've got black. And black is mostly black tank tops or... Um, band tees, stuff like that. Then I have my nice pyjamas, Hawaiian shirts. I have a thing for Hawaiian shirts and my dog has a matching Hawaiian shirt for every Hawaiian shirt I have. So they're hung up with the little matches so that I don't lose them. And if I wear them, then the dog will wear them too. I have cardigans, jumpers, knitted, knitted or crocheted jumpers. And then all through the back, except for this jumper, all in the back part of the closet down there is my dresses. So that is pretty much my closet tour. 
just down the bottom I've got four little cubes and in them I put all my shoes. I don't really have a favourite pair of shoes. I've got quite a few but I normally tend to wear the same pair of Birkenstocks day in day out. So that's it for this part. <laughs> just had a bath did my skincare and I'm going to try this new product it is going viral at the moment on TikTok YouTube I've seen so many people use it it's called Brazilian boom boom cream if it would focus there we go yeah so basically it's a cream that's meant to um, absorb into your skin and make it firmer. It apparently helps with cellulite, dark circles, um, wrinkles, things like that. So I got the, how much is this? 240 mils or 8 fluid ounces cream and this was 72 Australian dollars. So this is what the package looks like on the inside. It's got a little quote. We love our bodies and our planet. This box is recyclable, processed, chlorine free and commercially compostable. And yeah, it is pronounced boom boom, not bum bum. And this is what it looks like. Brazilian boom boom cream. It just comes like that with a little stopper on the inside. So I actually haven't opened this before. Oh, it actually smells really good. So that's just what it looks like on the inside. It's a pale creamy colour. It smells really good. So I'm going to try it tonight and see, try it for a week, see if it does anything. Um, and see if I would recommend it because it is pretty expensive. You can get a really small one about that size and it's about that round compared to that for $32. Um, so yeah, I just don't know if the big one is worth it yet. And I always do this if there's cream on the lid. I just scrape it off before I put any on. I'm just balancing it on my bed. So I'm going to put a little bit on my neck. Oh, that's pretty good. It goes a long way. Okay. And an update on my cool sculpting as well. It's getting there. I still have a little bit of numbness right around here. And a little bit of bruising there and here. But it's getting better so I'm going to try it out and we'll see at the end of the week if it's helped <coughs> hey guys it is the next day I'm just about to make my bed you know put all my pillows up dust vacuum those kind of things and I have just found I put on these new sheets last night or the night before and there is fluff or lint all over my black bed sheets so as you can see all of this lint I didn't realize it because it was so late when I put them on but there's all this lint everywhere on my black bed sheets 
So I have to use a lint roller and get it all off. So it's a little bit later on. I'm just about to weed the garden. The lawn's mowed, weed the garden beds, and then I'm going to pin up the strawberry bushes. The tomato bushes. I'm going to pin them up. finished weeding the garden mostly it's all finished up there and a little bit inside this patch here and there wasn't any in this last one but I will show you how all of our vegetables are doing I hung up the tomatoes and weeded out the lettuce and bok choy so I'll show you that so this is our spinach at the moment it's about almost two feet high two feet high at the back here then we have our celery, our shallots, and our bok choy growing. There was one rotten bok choy that kind of got stuck in the shade and wilted, so I pulled it out. We've got our lettuce at the back coming through. Over here we have our zucchinis. I'll move into the shade. Our zucchinis, our beetroots, a little shallot here that I just, you know, grew out of one that we had in the kitchen. Then I hung up our tomatoes, and our first tomatoes are coming in right here. And then we've got these tomatoes over here. None of them are red just yet, but they're growing and they smell really good already. And we can, there's a couple more coming in here because there's flowers, tiny little ones just there and some more over there. And we've got some zucchini flowers. We've got some zucchini flowers growing. I was thinking about cooking them, but I'll have to look up a recipe for that first, I think. They're getting there. <laughs> 